Can everyone see the flowers? Okay. Yep. All right, so I, um, I have a rose bush that I just absolutely love. It's David Austin roses and they smell so good, but I only have like two or three flowers on it. So my second year having it and I've only gotten two or three flowers on it. So when the bud came up, when this flower came up, I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta, it was gonna rain, you know, the next day. I'm like, I gotta clip it, hope it opens more and uh, I gotta paint this. So I did and it, it's just a perfect flower. I just fell in love with it. I love the color, um, the smell is just so pretty. Um, so anyways, I, um, I, I love the, I love the color of it, um, the softness, you know, it's a rose, but I wanted, and the, all the green is just, you know, I love all the green around it, um, but I wanted more color. So I walked around the yard and I found these, uh, the little purple, the purple leaves in the back on the left is um, my, my dying lilac bush. But the color was so pretty, I couldn't resist. I, I was like, oh, it's gonna be perfect with that that yellow in the rose, it's just, it was perfect. So I clipped some of those. I um, got a couple of, you know, branches from the, the rose bush where the red, you know, you can see the red coming in. I love all the different color changes. Um, and then I, I was fooling around with some cloth for the background. I was trying to get, um, I wanted color, but I didn't really want like a fabricated uh, a mechanical um, background with, you know, print, you know, a manufactured print all over it. I wanted it more uh, natural, um, but colorful. So, <laughs> so this box is the, uh, the box that I carry my plein air palette in. So it's got cadmium red and yellow, all my colors on it. <laughs> And I said, well, that's perfect. It's got a neutral color, but then I have some, you know, a little bit of red here and there and a little bit of yellow. I thought it was perfect. So I, um, I set it up and I decided um, that I would, oh, you can go to the next, uh, the next picture, please. So you can see that I started with my uh, overall color harmony, the tone of that yellow ochre, a little bit of transparent oxide red in there. Um, just lightly, you know, real loose. I started really loose. Uh, I didn't want to have a real tight painting. I like painterly paintings. Um, so much more fun. And then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go for it and put that, that red, yellow, and orange in there right away because that's a really uh, important part of this and I don't want to add it. Um, I want to add it in the beginning so that it's in there and I can and I can uh, compare it with everything else. You know, I can it, it just is going to add. It's going to help me get the color of the rose correct um, and the leaves and I can hide you know, I can put the leaves on top of the the red, yellow and orange there. So, okay, and I, oh, and then I wiped out my, uh, where my lights are gonna go because I don't wanna put uh, white on top of the docks because um, I just want that uh, real clean white. And I'm not gonna get that if I put it over the yellow ochre. It'll just, it won't be as bright as I want and clean. I want clean color. And I, I, I put it in, I made the pattern of the, uh, light. It walks across the board. Um, okay, you can go to the next one. All right. So I have a quick question. Yeah. Although I am not an oil painter. So in watercolors, I know that if I put down something light, I have to not put something dark underneath it because you can see through the layers. But I thought with oil paints that it actually covered up. But you're saying that with oil paints, you can still see through the layers? You can. You can. Um, you can go over it if it's, well, if it's heavy enough, you can go over it. But um, I have had problems 
uh, with it picking up the background. Oh, okay. So I just, I, and, and I think it's, it's much cleaner if you rub it out, if I okay. rub it out. Okay. Uh, all right. So um, is this the neck? No, this isn't nope, the neck. Nope, I haven't okay. moved yet. Any other questions on this one? No. All right. Picture three. So we are now on the next one. Oh, okay. So this is so close. I, I yep. tried to remember to do it, uh, to take pictures, you know, every couple of strokes, but you know how that happens. You know how that works. Doesn't, doesn't always work. So I wanted to establish my, my um, docs. I wanted to be more, more established with my docs. Yeah. So I extended the, uh, that dock to the left of the rows in the middle. And um, it's, it's, like I put uh, a little bit of red in there also, just, uh, just to make it a little more colorful. Um, I, wanna, I wanna establish my lightest light and my darkest dark in the beginning um, because I wanna, uh, that's what I would compare everything else to. I'm only, I'm painting values, shapes and colors. I'm trying not to think of the rose. I'm not, I'm trying not to think I'm painting a rose. I'm painting the color shapes and value of that rose and the, and the leaves and everything else. So I have to have my value structure right in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So any questions on that? It yeah. looks like cotton balls to me right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just loosely just loosely blocked in or wiped out. <laughs> all right, moving to four. We're on four. Oh, all right. Step. So this one it is, you know, I got more into it and um, I'm getting the bright colors in there. The blue on the left of that leaf was just, I had to get that in. Uh, I'm establishing the, the color harmony. Um, I started in on the rose. I got a, a nice palette stroke in there. Um, I had to get that nice orange, that deep orange in the middle, and then that that lighter tone on top. I really wanted to get that started, um, but I didn't want to. I was trying not to focus too much on the rose yet because I wanted to keep it loose and um, at, in the blocking stage. So Welcome, I got my... Abby. Welcome hmm? Abby. I just wanted to say hi to Abby who just joined us. Oh, hi, Abby. <laughs> uh, so you can see that I still don't have um, the background in the top left. I, don't, I still don't have that in there, but the value is there. Uh, and I'm keeping the, the my value pattern. So I'm starting to get the the... Uh, stems in because that's directional that'll help lead your eye around the painting um, I'm starting to cover up a little bit of the the red down the bottom with those uh, bluish green leaves um, and the the do you see the triangle on the it's hard to not point <laughs> Oh, oh, all right. I'm sorry. I forgot I have this right here. So this, there is a, a, a light triangle that was here. This is a lead in to the painting. Um, Over here? Yes. Yeah, okay. that. I ended up, you know, covered in, but it still is a, a, a lighter part of it. It's not as dark as down here. Mm -hmm. But um, all right. So you can go to the next one. Wait a minute, Carol. What? What, do you remember what the colors were on that top? Oh, petal, that yellow. Do you remember what colors you used? Um, it was, it was the cad yellows. Cad, uh, it was cad yellow deep and cad yellow medium and a little uh yellow ochre, I think. Oh, such a pretty color. Yeah, yeah. The I don't know if you guys have these colors, but uh. Rembrandt transparent 
yellow green and Rembrandt trans transparent oxide yellow are are so good when you're doing uh, garden scenes or leaves and. What about trees? Do they're do beautiful. trees count? <laughs> count yes. <laughs> um. Anyway, so uh, so yeah, I'm just establishing my 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 color harmony. I wanted to. You can see where I put, you know, the purples, you know, around here. Then the these blues. It shows up a lot bluer than it is actually on my painting, but. Um, to get those colors in, I didn't, you know, go in and and boil out every leaf in there. I'm just putting in strokes of color, shapes, and value. Okay, you can go to the next one. All right, number five. Okay, so this one, I I thought I was far enough in the painting to get uh, the background up here in the top left in, and I had so much fun in in you know the I, I love looking at the leaves the insides and the um the stems the shapes that are in between like in here i love all that stuff and i thought well that would be kind of cool if i kind of just did it in the i took um i think it was yellow ochre and uh alizarin i think and um i just kind of played in here it wasn't it wasn't as you can see it wasn't in my setup at all but uh i just felt like playing and i think it worked out really well those colors are beautiful yeah they, they're a little a little cooler on the computer but um yeah it was come on you gotta like original art though come on <laughs> <laughs> original art is beautiful like i still can't get over the tree that I did with the mix of the Q-tip style, because that is actually like the most decent painting I've ever done. And then I'm like, can I just throw away all my others and start over? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice, right? What, what it literally does. Like if you look at it, you'd be like, I don't care what other paintings Abby has. Can she get rid of them and she can start over again? <laughs> do you have it with you? I do actually, I have my- Let's see. <laughs> Oh. Here, I will stop the share for a second so we can see Abby's picture. All right, go ahead, Abby. All right, let me. Do it so everybody can. And I see Laura. Hi, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice. That's very pretty. Very nice. See, yeah. there was like a whole bunch of different shades of pink, and then. Oh yeah. I, I got like the darker, so, so, some dark spots for like the shade of the bark. Beautiful. And, the, and for the and for the branches also because they wanted us to go all over and then right here would get darker. Yeah. They were very nice. Good job. Oh yeah, like we were like everybody was doing it in the group that I was that I was in, and then I did this, and then they were like, "No fair! Why the heck is?" She good at everything that involves art. And then I'm like, because I learned from the best. She, she she just wants me to call her her friend, but you know, Laura will always be my teacher. Aww. She taught me what I know. Laura uh, is amazing. That's uh, great. She is. I don't see anyone else better. She taught me what I know about the brush strokes, and then the Q tip thing was a nice touch, though. Nice. That is great. Welcome mm -hmm. home, Bob. <laughs> Hi, Bob. All right. <laughs> All right. So we got Carol with the beautiful rose in the middle. Okay. So you can see that I it progressed a little with the um, with the rose on the outside. Um, the drawing wasn't quite there yet. Uh, I got this background, this background up here going. Um, 
All right, you can go to the next one. Okay. We're on six. Okay. Just moving along slowly and thoughtfully. Um, this was not a one day painting. <laughs> You kidding? A painting that's one day? No, that's impossible. You got to put. Oh, it's not impossible, <laughs> but. <laughs> no, a, a real painting it takes forever. <laughs> it takes forever. Like I had to do a self portrait of myself for Laura. That sucker took forever. <laughs> and then I finally turned it into her, and lo and behold, there it was. And now I can actually draw myself of what I really look like, get all the details, and I'm like, okay, now I'll turn that into a painting. Let's see what happens. And then be like, hey, Laura, look, <laughs> here I am. But no, but my hair always keeps changing color, so I can never know what color to do my hair. It's always, it's always a new portrait then right yeah <laughs> always I, I have a bunch of them with diff my, my old different hair colors my the colors i've had in my hair right now it's purple purple uh, that's great <laughs> all right so so this one i'm just i'm progressing with it i'm just i'm not getting into any detail i just want to make sure all the elements that i um i want are in there but i was still I started, I got stuck. I didn't know there was something like uh, something, it needs something. I couldn't decide what it was. So I just, you know, I stopped and I waited. I'm not sure if the next one is, can you show me the next slide, please? No. All right. So I, so, so with the rose, I was, um, I was studying, I was seeing how other people do it. I was, uh, you know, experimenting with my colors. I wanted to get that, that deep yellow that was in there. And, and then on the outside of those rose leaves, the petals, um, they were like, they were almost blue, almost like a purpley blue. It was so pretty. Um, so I, I got that in there and I think it, it went really well with the, whoops, with the other blues in here, put a little blue in, in on this side of the leaf, you know, so that it would trail across. There's a little bit here and um, just keeping with the color, color harmony and, you know, so you can go to the next one. All right, we're at eight. So I, so like I said, I got stuck and I could not figure oh, gorgeous out. Flowers. <laughs> I was, I couldn't figure out what to do on this painting. I'm like this, I got to do something. I, I was like, what the heck? And my cats come into the, the studio all the time and they <laughs> sit up on my, on my uh, stand and they knock my flowers over and they start to <laughs> paint and, you know. So the cat got out in the, in the studio and I had this, the roses and I'm like, oh, I love this vase. I don't want her to tip over the roses and then get the water everywhere. So I put it next to my painting on my easel. And then I walked out and I let her have her fun. Uh, I walked out and then it was, it was like supper or something. I came back out and I said, oh my God, this is it. So <laughs> the, it was the rose, the roses were like in the painting as I could see just exactly like that. I took a picture of it and I'm like, oh my God, this is, you know, this is what's gonna Make help it. the painting. This is it, you know? So I painted them in. You can go to the next one. All right, we're on nine. So I painted them in. I didn't want to take away from, you know, the, the main rows, but I really think um, that was it. That, that made the painting in there. Um, I put, I, you can see that I, Right here where the, that directional light was, I put a little bit of the um, um, stems in there, made, made it a little more interesting. Put some of the blue in there. That blue on the computer is really strong. It's not that strong on my original painting here. But um, yeah, I was so happy. And then I added, you know, I added this leaf up here. There was a little bit of yellow here. This was, this was, um, needed to be changed a little bit so i i put that yellow a little stronger in there and i like the way it walks it walks you across so you can go to the next one all right this is i also added these um not sure when i did but 
these dock shapes down here. It was kind of plain and kind of empty. And I thought, oh, if I put these real dock shapes in here, it adds, I think it adds a lot of interest. You can go to the next one, please. All right, 11. Okay, this is 11. Okay. So I'm just, uh, I, I was just working on the, the stems in this one. I love how, you know, there's so many colors in the stems and I had to be careful not to make the stem more important than the rose, you know, center of interest. But I think it was, you know, I used a palette knife to get some height on the, you know, off the, off the board you know, in the, in the paint. Um, I, I had a blast doing the stems. <laughs> that one that you sweeps know? across is beautiful. The what? That one that sweeps across under the big rose is beautiful. The yeah. green's on the far right. Okay. Yeah, and then it changed, well, it, it was doing yeah. that. It's really, it was really cool. But I, you know, I didn't want to, yeah. some of these leaves are plain, you know, like this one here is pretty plain. I didn't even put a vein in it. But I like that because if I had put if I put a vein in every single one of these, it would just be boring and re too repetitive. Yeah, I've got ten of them. What? Oh, yeah. I think Bev um, might have background noise. Here, oh, temporarily okay. mute Bev. Oh, that's okay. So, anyways, um, I think uh, that's why these back here are um, look so good because they're. In the back, they're part of the background, like this, like this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Only over here. And these these shapes here, I just loved them. They were there was one um, one leaf in the in that first photo you can see in my setup that was like laying out here, kind of. And I just thought instead of having this light all the way across here, why not put those big shapes in like that? You know interesting abstract simple shapes mm -hmm. but you know they read as a leaf right yep i hope <laughs> that's my hope yeah, they do. They do. great color right. i like them yeah. all right you can go to the next one all right all right this is 13 no this is 12 oh this is 12 yep. okay oh i i was started working on um I worked on this rose here. This was, I wanted it to be um, kind of the backside of the rose because I think it's more interesting than having all of them face you, you know? So I had, you know, I had to make sure that the color was right and the value was right to make it look like it was going back there and it didn't um, draw too much attention and this rosebud here, I think it's something that you kind of go along and you go, oh, <laughs> you kind of discover it, you know? And the, these down here are just, um, I think this one was a petal, but I think that was actually some of my white on my, my box. But I, you know, make them into petals, you know? Uh, okay, you can go to the next one. All right, we're at 13. Okay. So, you know, same thing with this one. It's, you know, just refining, you know, if there's, you know, shapes that aren't quite, um, everything, I, I, I want everything in this painting to be beautiful. Like, you know, you take this pot, is that beautiful? You know, this part is that beautiful. If it can, you know what I mean? I don't want everything to be boiled out. I want it to be loose and, and um, you know, I like bold brush strokes. I like, um, like in here, you can see that there's a green, like this stroke in here is green. There's green, yellow, and, and blue in there. And your eye, mixes it for you. I love, I love that, that stuff. So I like to leave that stuff in like up here. And I like to mix 
every stro every um you know every bit of paint i don't like to mix it thoroughly i like to mob i like i like the mobilized effect in some areas oh i lightened up this petal here because it was a little too dark um this petal here i had to darken a little bit because it was just a little too light um so i was paying attention to the light and how it traveled across the painting i try i try not to think of rose you know leaf <laughs> because i want the value pattern i mean you do have to think eventually about you know does it look like a rose <laughs> but um you're only you can only paint the light if there's no light there's no rose so you're painting how yeah, then it's just then it's just darker which is yeah. which is my favorite because i always do it based off based off of my eye for the shadow i just do like a darker of the same color yeah I've used myself as a reference all the time because I've painted myself as an actual, to start with the actual person. And then I've worked on the hands, the our shoulders of how big our shoulders actually are. And then someone else is like, hey, how about do somebody else? And then I'm like, and then I'm like, let me get, uh, I'm like, let me get to my feet first because <laughs> I haven't drawn my feet yet. <laughs> Well, it's good practice. Or painted my feet yet, I should say, but I'm, I draw something out if, and if I want to paint it, then I paint it. Yeah. Good. Baby steps. I mean, it's, I mean, it's for everything. Like if I want to, if I wanted to zoom in and like show the butterfly on the tree here, I would just like do the same thing, but like zoom in on where the butterfly would be or a flower or if I wanted to put Laura's head <laughs> I would go peek around the tree <laughs> okay we can go to the next one please all right all right 14 all right so I'm I'm checking on this I I left it for another day or two I was looking around to see if there was anything uh that needed to be fixed or anything that was weird i turn it around you know i turn it upside down sometimes um because that way you're not uh it's just a different a different way of looking at it and if there's a mistake usually it pops out i use a mirror and i i look at it in the mirror and um you can see a lot you know that way so and then the last slide, <laughs> I sign it, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I and I have to frame it, but I don't. Uh, I have not framed this yet. You should. Uh, I need. I need to. I need to frame my tree. <laughs> yeah. What size is that, Carol? It's a uh, eight. Um, eight by sixteen. Oh wow! Looks like about the same size as what what I painted my tree on. Yeah. For my canvas. Uh-huh. Well, that's good. You have gonna put it in a shell. I have my demon painting <laughs> way before we had the shutdown because of the COVID. I brought in my demon painting of myself. Mm -hmm. And someone was like, Abby, how much do you want how, how much do you want for it? And I'm like, You wanna pay me to take a painting I did of myself and made myself all demonized. <laughs> and then someone's like, yeah, people will pay a lot of money for themselves being all fancy and almost looking like they're a villain, like they're gonna get, and then, I, and then I'm like, what? I got an imagination. Oh, that's great. So that, so they're thinking, of, they're, think, they're thinking, they're thinking about it. And then I'm like, mom, someone wants to pay me for a painting I did and it's still there too so I'm like what? So they, did, what they didn't buy it? I don't to be honest I don't know I haven't really left my house I've just done zoom meetings and I would sometimes go to the beat store with my mom 
So otherwise, I have not left my house. That's great, though, that they, somebody wanted to buy it. Well, good. they're thinking about putting a price on it so somebody can buy it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's something else, because especially I'm learning money and everything. So I'm like, someone wants to buy something I did. Well, I'm like, what? <laughs> that's great. Good job. Does anybody have any questions about this? <laughs> Well, technically, that would be like, why does one of those flowers, why is there like a lightish sky blue when when the sun's out and it's all pretty outside? Like, why did why is there like a sky blue when it's supposed to be a white flower? It was. Uh, it's inside. It was inside. I had a um, a daylight bulb on it, but um, it was turning into the shadow and I exaggerated um, the blue a little bit because I thought it was pretty and it harmonized it's it's very blue on the computer it's not that blue on this but um, as it went into the shadow I saw blue so I put it in there I noticed you refined the um, that background up Probably about yeah. a quarter of the way in on the top to make it look like shadows. It's kind of pretty. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was interesting. It was fun, you know? So. I love the depth. Mm. You have oh, so much thanks. depth. So many layers. Thanks. I have one more painting it's... that I don't have um, steps uh, for, you know, I don't have the, the process. But if you have any questions on it, I'd be happy to answer. If people are in gallery view, if they go into the view where the speaker is the focus, then you'll be able to see Carol's picture larger. And you can do that in the top right of Zoom if you haven't done that before. The, these peonies are kind of washed out. Mm. Because, but I'll go in. Oops, not supposed to see behind my easel. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm sure most of you understand oh yes oh absolutely are you kidding me <laughs> there see all the different color changes in there yeah and yep. uh, you can see the um juicy brush strokes wow. did you make sure to blend <laughs> yes. oh laura should teach you how to blend sometimes, she taught me how to blend <laughs> well sometimes you want uh, the viewer's eye to blend the paint. Yeah, move it. Yeah. Because I make sure I I made sure I blend everything together when I did my tree. Mm -hmm. I made sure I had everything blended together. And someone's like, "How did you know how to blend?" And then I'm like, "I was taught. I didn't <laughs> just do it. I was taught." That's yeah, that's great. And then after we were separate, and then after the separation because of the COVID. I just took what I remembered and what I was taught. Uh -huh. And I've just been teaching myself along. That's very good. Whoops. Okay. Oh, look at those flowers. They're so cute. <laughs> if I can get this to stay here. There we go. There we go. So are those peonies? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I, I, um, I have... A, a couple of varieties of peonies, but um, uh, what can I say about this? This, this was um, I. I brought them inside, obviously, um, and uh, I just had so much fun painting them. This one, um, I, like I said before, I like to see. I don't like to see them all facing forward, so I turn this one sideways. I turn that one up there. This one's going this way. You turn one backwards. Yeah, I got you mean. I don't like seeing them all over the place either. Yeah, facing the same direction. I I, I like mixing it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's why I did, that's why I did the thing with my tree. Like I would have some look like they're falling off. Yeah, of the tree look like the leaves are falling off the tree. Like the tiny little petals falling off. Mm-hmm. That's great. It was, I think it was supposed to be a cherry tree. I forget what kind of tree this was supposed to be, but it was supposed to be some kind of Chinese tree. And I was like, you know what? I'll just do some of it 
coming off and like do it facing where the wind's gonna go like so i'm gonna have the wind go this way yeah so i'm gonna do some of the stuff coming off yeah movement's so very I just important did that you. with a smaller brush and now it's looks like it's the wind is slowly blowing them off for the winter time yeah very good carol i love how the copper looks in the it looks like copper the little pot oh thanks thank you that was uh that was fun to do i have so many there's a lot of different colors in here i added some green here and oh I love edge that. the edge down here was so hot i had to um soften it by pushing a little bit of the the white up there gorgeous uh i love i love doing i had such a blast doing the tassels having you know these little shapes in here <laughs> um but it's just you know fun i had a lot of fun I, the background was completely different i didn't like it it was you know i thought it was a little boring it needed something and i said well let's experiment and i i ended up with this blue up here and i think it um brings a lot of energy to it. So the painting I'm doing right now has a terrible background. You've given me some food for thought. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's good. Why is it a terrible background? What do you mean? I'll, I'll send you a JPEG of it, see what you think. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Just really. Is it on outside? Is it a plain air painting? or? No, it's just like light? with a doll and some flowers and stuff, but it's, oh. it needs a lot of movement. That might help. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Well, I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I like, uh, Carol Arnold, the way that your eye moves through the painting that you have, where it looks at, it's drawn by one thing, and then the leaves pull your eye around to see different yeah. aspects of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can use, like, Nancy Guzik is always telling me, find the triangles, and that, you know, will help you, you know, help the viewer get around um little little triangles everywhere well or like you have a leaf folding over in the very center and then another leaf right on top of it swooping and yes yes and, yeah and all of those movements are beautiful and, and draw you into contemplate it more i think mm, thank you yeah movement is really important i did um i don't know if you guys saw the um the new newer paintings um that i did uh, peach tree, uh, peach paradise. It's a peach tree um, that I brought in. I cut branches off peach tree and I put a little birdhouse next to it. And the movement in that, I had so much fun with that. Um, I could probably show you on my phone. Well, whatever. You can go on my website and see the peach, um, peach paradise. It was, um, it was so much fun to do that. And the way, you know, the way they, sh and down in the bottom corner, there's a, a leaf that hits the, the white foreground. And, um, is it little peach tree? No, no, it's, um, oh, are you getting it up? It's peach well, paradise. I'm, I'm looking on your site. Is it with the birdhouse? Yeah. All right. Hold on. I are you to... able to bring that up? Yeah, I, yes. Oh, right. So I have it. And You're then so I can, good. You're so I can good. Share screen. I hope they pay you a lot. <laughs> All right. So this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the, fun. Um, that was so much fun to paint. The, um, just the way that the, the leaves were moving, it was, it's almost alive. Is that a bird um, house? It's a bird That's house. a bird house, Laura. Yep. Yeah. But this, her is bird house. This, is, this is, can you see this birdhouse? This is the birdhouse. So I changed it, but, um, and That's I put, you know, I put some. I like the straw things. sticking out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's adorable. But I love the color. I love, I love all the, the peaches in behind, mm -hmm. you know, coming through. Uh, but it's all, you know, for me, it's all in the setup. If it's not, um, you know, I, I don't have to copy it literally because like in, for instance, this painting, I, I got caught up in all the leaves and, and the shapes and I just, you know, grabbed one leaf from over here and I put, you know, in my head and I was, you know, just having so much fun. It wasn't, I should show you a picture of what it actually, what the setup actually was. <laughs> 
because it's different. But uh, I love putting the shadows, the shadows of the uh, branch on the of the leaf on that on that peach right to the left of the birdhouse there. Oh yeah. 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 yeah up a little north. That one. That to one? the right. Yep. Right there. <laughs> yeah. I love doing that. I love doing that. And the peach that's on the roof, you see that yellow peach? No, on the right, right. side. Yeah, right there. <laughs> the edge, when I had that, I, I was like, it just doesn't look real. Something is, something wasn't right. And I it just didn't feel right. So I, another one, I, I left it for a couple of days, worked on something else, but then I came back and I went, oh, it's the edges. The edge, I had to, right where the yellow meets the roof, there was a hot edge there and I had to soften that. And then it looked more like it was sitting there. It was so much fun. And the the, bod, the leaf on the bottom, do you see the bottom right hand side, that leaf there? Look at the shadow underneath that. That's such an important um, leaf because that draws you into the painting. And then these other leaves keep you in, get you inside and you go around with the color. The color carries you around. And I just love this painting. I like all the blue in the leaves. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many different greens. But That's yeah, cool. when I see when I see, you know, some blue, I go for it and exaggerate it a little bit. You know, you, there is a point, <laughs> you know, that you don't want to go over, but because you want it to make you want to make it look real. But um, yeah, it was that was fun. So for me, in many cases, when I look at a still life, it looks static and stationary. And this feels very alive and dancing. So oh, I thank you. An awesome job with the way the leaves are doing it. It's like a wind is blowing through here and, and tossing everything around while you're watching it. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, I definitely uh, feel the movement in that. Uh, I'm glad that came across. I like, I like that you said it was dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, there was another in the middle. If you put your pointer in the middle and right to the left, um, see those two leaves, little, little more. To, yeah, right there. They were kind of connected before and I was like it was bothering me there was something I'm like there is no interest in this area and it was kind of boring and I was like what am I going to do so I I looked in the mirror and I turned it upside down and I said it's just boring so I separated the two leaves made the the bottom one a little lighter and then I um put that shadow in there and look what that did to that whole area you know it brought Thank a lot of eye moving yeah, it brought a lot of, a lot of interest there. It's like, oh, look at that beautiful shadow. <laughs> brought your eye back up and around again. What? It, nice curve to it. it brought your eye back up and around again. It has a nice curve to it. Yeah, thank you. Right. So that was fun. Anyway. Beautiful. So now that, now that we're at paint all those leaves. <laughs> what? I'd be so intimidated to paint all those leaves. Don't think of them as leaves though. Think of them as <laughs> shapes and colors. Cause when I, when I, if I can find, if I took, I think I took some, uh, you know, progress shots. I can show you, but it, I did it. I grouped them all. So when I squint, I, I group them into dark and light. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you if I have it. Well, now that you were on your website, <laughs> now we can look at your portraits. Oh, Cody was so much fun to paint. Boy, that girl. Is that this one? Yeah. That's the one she won um, first, for, but best portrait in the plein air salon. Oh, wow. For, and it's a monthly, it's a monthly uh, competition. And then at the end of the year, they have a grand prize. So. Um, so I was just the monthly portrait winner, <laughs> but if you look, if you, can you blow that up a little? Um, let me try. See, here I go again with the look on the outside of her hair where the, the braids, you can see the light coming through the braids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All those shapes. I love doing those shapes. I just love it. 
But if you see on the side, on the left side of her um, cheek, yeah, do you see that white stroke right there, that thick white stroke? I did that with a two inch brush and I pulled it right up against her cheek and then pulled it back. Wow. And if you look close, um, you can see the edge. Oh, what a beautiful edge it left. Hmm. Kind of a, who took that photo? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's so many colors, so many different colors in her face. I love the it, eyes. The eyes are just amazing. Oh, thanks. She, she was so much fun to paint. I wish that I, you know, I, I only took a small piece of canvas that day and um, I wish I had brought a bigger piece because I would love to have done her hands and her body, you know, mm -hmm. but I'm glad I got what I got. Very pretty. Thanks. Where's Kendall? Is Kendall in here somewhere? Yes, she is. Um, just have to keep scrolling. Although I love the cowboy, your son. This one is amazing. Oh, everybody loves that one. Yeah, you know what that's all about. Tell me what that's all about. <laughs> Any anybody? Does anybody know what my? Looks like he's dressed up as a cowboy, and he's like, "Get along, little doggy," and it looks like he's gonna get ready to <laughs> rope him. <laughs> like yeah. rope either a cow or something, yeah. or he's just dressing up and trying to be one of those farmers. One of them dudes. <laughs> Yeah, one of them cowboy dudes. Like I could see my father yeah. dressing up. I like love it. the shadow on the tree. That's what it's all about. The tree, I love. The tree Catherine, I love. that was you. Yeah, it was. That's what it was all about. The shadow on the tree. I the love rope it. shadow is so cool. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you. I'm glad you got it. Thank you. But yeah, he he um, I I, I he got the hat. It was my son, of course, and um, he bought the hat. And then I was like, "Man, that hat looks really good on you. I wanna, I wanna get you a vest and give you a rope, and you know, we'll go out and I'll paint you." And uh, I didn't have a vest. I went to the Salvation Army and I found a small vest, but it wouldn't fit around him, so I had to cut the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just hanging on his shoulders, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, it was fun. But he froze his butt off. It was very cold. <laughs> I know. How long did he have to stand there? How long? Well, no, I, I, I didn't finish the whole thing from life. <laughs> but he stood there for a while. <laughs> and I took, a, I took a lot more photos, too. He sacrificed but, You know, himself. I love, huh? He sacrificed himself for art and it sold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and thankfully... My friend has it, so I can see it anytime I want to. <laughs> but I love, um, I love the con. I love contrast, like the black vest against this white shirt, and you know, the drawing in the shadow is just, it, it just killed me. I just, just loved it. Even his Sherry, white shirt has so much color in it. Yeah. Yeah. Sherry McGraw. If you look at Sherry McGraw's work, she her shadows are incredible. She does beautiful, beautiful shadows. I mean, of course, her, you know, her, everything about her art is great, but um, you don't always see great attention to shadows. But Sherry McGraw's got it. All right. So I was actually looking for Kendall. Is it further down here somewhere? Oh, um, I'm not sure where it is. Could be on the next page. All right, we'll see. Or I could have archived it. Because if it's sold, I might have archived it. You can't archive, Kendall. Well, all right, apparently you did. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> it says view, uh, you can view archived on the bottom, I think. Oh. Oh, it is great. Oh, I like that one with the. With the, with the with the green and the cool brown and the hair, oh, the lightish brown. It's my daughter Grace. That one right there. I like that one. Thank you. I love I love that one. Like, Thank that, you. that one's awesome. Thanks. That's from life. I know, but you can see like if 
there's like a little bit of a brownish red and then it, then you can see like the shade of the uh, of the dark brown and then it yep. changes to normal brown right. it like mixes up yeah yep. and then there's more shadow that looks almost black oh yeah that is uh transparent oxide red and um ultramarine blue makes a beautiful dock beautiful transparent dock oh no absolutely like i i used to do the same thing when my hair was brown blonde and my hair would get darker in the winter time and then it would get brighter in the summertime and then now my hair is just colored so it just completely throws it off <laughs> <laughs> but i totally get it like i love i i love that when it like gets different different transparents in there for the hair yeah i love it like that's why i love doing i mean i'm trying to do other people but i love doing the faces and getting the different colors in the hair yeah because people don't seem to get there's different colors in people's hair they seem to think it's all one color this. like same thing with the braid like there's different shades going on there yeah and the hat yeah they don't see it they people never see it i'm like i'm like why the heck do people who have art eyes understand but people don't understand so this one won first prize in the 2019 small stones festival yes it did yeah, yeah. <laughs> um <It's cool. laughs> what and it sold. Yes, it did. <laughs> I was very happy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So sometimes, you know, painting a hat. I saw Richard. Um, you, actually, you guys, I can, if anybody's interested, I could send you a painting where Richard painted the outside of the hat. Never painted the hat. He painted the background. And oh. have you ever seen that one, Carol? No. It's a huge, it's a big, huge white hat. And he painted, well, he painted, I guess, a little, you know, a couple of strokes, but most of it, he painted the background. And it's magical. It's magical. Oh, well, definitely I'd send me a, that. yeah, send me a JPEG and I'll send it out to the group. Okay. That's how Bob, um, oh, heck, what was his last name? He teaches in Marlboro, but that's how he teaches the figure. He teaches, you paint negatively. Yeah. You paint oh, all great. the outside and you leave the figure blank in the middle. And it's a, even I could do it. It's, it's amazing <laughs> how, how he teaches you how to do that. Well, I think, I think it's great because it, it's a different way of thinking. Yeah. You know, people sometimes are, are like, oh, I don't know about the muscles. They're not looking, they're not seeing. You know, they're thinking more. That's why I try not to think of, you know, the rose in that painting. I was just telling you guys about if I think of a rose, um, it's, I don't know why, but it's more difficult. If I just think, you know, where's the darkest dock? Is there a shape I can find that's simple? You know, I can paint a simple triangle and then what's next to it? What color is it? Lighter, darker? Is it more yellow, more green? You know, paint it like that. Have you ever seen the paintings at um, Susan Powell's that, uh, oh God, what was her name? DeVito painted those oh, white- Oh, Grace DeVito, yeah. Her white roses. I think they're the same kind that you had painted. Oh, really? I, I don't know um, if I, I saw, I, I've seen sunset. her. What? She did one in, in a sunset. It's over by uh, Susan's desk. Oh, and then uh, she had done another one and it almost looked like she had put like gold leaf underneath it. It was, oh, oh they were I, I love her work. Is it in the show that's, that she has now? Um, it was there at the beginning of October. I haven't been back since. Oh, um, she has her holiday show <laughs> out now. Yeah. So anyway. So anybody have any questions? Any more questions? <laughs> Does anybody want to show me anything they're painting and have a question about that? I don't know how to do it. I'll have to send you a JPEG. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Well, thank you very much, Carol. Your work is stunningly <laughs> beautiful. Well, thank you. And it's very inspiring. Oh, thanks. Even like thank the you painting, for having me. Thank you. Like even the uh, painting behind your head, the way the shadows go into that central peony and uh -huh. draw your eye in, it's just yeah. amazing this, the sense of depth that you create with those colors. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Practice, practice, practice.